finds herself being cleaned by the three Rivera women before explaining more on who she is and where she came from, Rosa Rivera eventually meets Mirva when she returns home with her baby twin brothers, Manny and Benny, and befriends her with her brothers immediately taking a liking to the young woman as well. Mirabel finds herself slowly getting comfortable in the Rivera household, as she is not only given a new outfit by them after her old dress was ruined, but she also receives a new pair of glasses, as well as a new pair of shoes by Carmen and Rosa. Not just that, she also gets to eat dinner with the Riveras, despite feeling as if she's sort of taking advantage of their generosity, though they insist that it's fine. Although, things get a bit awkward when the Riveras ask Mirabel what exactly happened to her and how she came to Mexico. She begins to break down as the stress and trauma she experienced back in the Encanto proves to be too much to bear, to the point where she ends up crying as she tries to tell her story. And this makes the Riveras instantly regret asking her for details, thus prompting Alina to comfort Mirabel and assure her that she doesn't have to answer her questions if she doesn't want to. Seeing that she isn't ready to talk about her past yet, nor does she even want to go back to her original home, Alina allows Mirabel to stay with them as long as she likes and to take her time when it comes to telling her story, as they will wait if they have to. And so the chapter ends with Mirabel getting to sleep next to Rosa in her room for the night, as she ponders over her new role in the prophecy that both the spirit and her grandfather told her about while she was in the afterlife. <laughs> For the next few days, Mirabel finds herself growing quite accustomed to living with the Riveras as she is able to use her many skills to help with cooking, cleaning, and even babysitting the younger members of the family like Manny and Benny and of course, baby Sokuro Rivera, or for this case, baby Coco. Anyways, the Riveras in turn find themselves growing quite attached to Mirabel, while also showing concern over her enthusiasm and not being seen as useless. Luisa Rivera, in fact, is the first to discover Mirabel's issues while they are cooking together. During their conversation, Mirabel ends up revealing her experience in the Land of the Dead and how she almost died thanks to having fallen off a cliff while running away. Though Luisa mistakenly believes that Mirabel attempted suicide due to the mistreatment of her family, Mirabel insists that it wasn't the case, though she does admit that staying in the Land of the Dead would probably have counted as suicide, considering how neglected and mistreated she was. It also doesn't help that she reveals how she was often left out of family photos due to not being gifted with magic, along with having been pushed to the side and forgotten by everyone. And even worse, her family almost never stood up for her whenever she was being bullied, despite knowing about the bullying that occurred, which horrifies Louisa. Unfortunately, this makes Mirabel once again break down in tears and run away to cry in the bathroom, which in turn makes Louisa feel guilty over having accidentally made Mirabel cry in the first place. During lunch, Louisa ends up telling her husband Enrique about what Mirabel told her, which shocks him as well, but also causes Mirabel to leave the table in tears. When Alina asks Louisa on what exactly happened with Mirabel, Louisa then tells everyone about all the suffering Mirabel went through back home, at least from what Mirabel told her, which horrifies and infuriates the Riveras. Well, obviously, like they're angry for Mirabel, not at her. Miguel feels the most sympathetic, given how he did go through similar issues, though his were pretty minor compared to what Mirabel went through. So, as a result, he decides to help her by singing Remember Me with the guitar that once belonged to Hector Rivera before handing her some paper and pencils as he suggests that they could write a song together about her feelings. That way it can help Mirabel process her resentment and anger towards her family while helping her move on from their poor treatment towards her. Mirabel accepts this idea and writes down the lyrics and melody with Miguel, which is revealed to be waiting on a miracle. And thus, she ends up performing it live for the first time, but in this case, she performs it for the Riveras in the backyard. And by the time she's, she and Miguel are done performing, they're basically all in tears and feel extremely sorry for her, while also being moved by the song's lyrics. With Miguel's encouragement, Mirabel finally gains the courage to talk about her dark past and the events that led to the Casita's destruction, along with her running away from the Encanto. 
The Riveras are both sympathetic and enraged on her behalf over the way the Madrigals treat her, with Alma being the one Madrigal that they all despise. But nonetheless, they also assure her that they at least believe in her and are willing to show her the love and support she desperately needs, whereas the Madrigals almost never did. And as a result, the chapter ends with Mira being hugged by the Riveras and crying tears of happiness as she finally sees that there are indeed people who care for her and accept her even if she doesn't have a gift, thus allowing her to feel at home for the first time in years. Mm -hmm.